Well, a big win for streaming platforms. For the very first time, more people want streaming services than cable or broadcast television in a single month. Nielsen Ratings reports that those services had nearly 35% viewership in July. Cable had 34.5%, broadcast 21.6%. Netflix, Hulu, and Amazon Prime Video were the streaming companies that attracted the highest shares of viewers. Joining us live tonight to talk more about these ratings is Richard Craig, journalism and mass communications professor at San Jose State. Thank you so much, Professor, for being here. Okay, so streaming services outpaced cable, but really just barely by about 1%. Still, though, it's never happened before, so how significant is this? Well, it's certainly significant. It's it's definitely the direction that broadcasting is going. You know, younger generations have grown up uh, all around their phones. They're used to getting entertainment whenever they want it, not really waiting around for their show to come on. Um, so saying it's the wave of the future, it, it's it's now. It's, yeah. it's going on now. Okay, so what does this say, do you believe, about the state of television? Well, it says that television has to be smarter about how it gets its material out to the public. Uh, one of the things that you don't necessarily get in this statistic is what percentage of the stuff that is getting streamed is being streamed by traditional TV networks, whether broadcast or cable or whatever. Uh, so they have to be very vigilant about making sure they know how to get their material to the audience uh, that they have in mind. Okay, and why do you think it is? I mean, you touched on the fact that, you know, younger generations they grew up with their phones. What do you think is driving them to focus more on the streaming services than on your typical broadcast television? Well, I, I think a lot of it has to do with the personalization of entertainment these days. You know, when I was growing up, probably when you were growing up, you would watch TV in the living room. The adults would choose what you watched and you would just go along with it. But in the age of the smartphone, you were able to pick your own entertainment. And uh, young people have gotten used to that. The idea that you're going to wait around for something to come on as opposed to getting it when you want it, mm -hmm. you know, that, that seems like... Uh, it's gone by the wayside. Yeah. Do you think cost also plays a role here as well? I think it can. And I think one of the things that you need to be careful of if you are running streaming platforms is the whole idea that that, well, we can keep raising the monthly fees and everybody will keep coming back. I hear my students talk about what am I going to do because Netflix has raised its, you know, its rates or Prime Video or whatever. Um, so it's really become less of a question of cost and more of a question of what young people are used to. Mm -hmm. Okay, as we wrap up this conversation, obviously you're a college professor. You spend a lot of time around a lot of young people. Do, do you find that a majority of them have ditched broadcast television and are just using those streaming services? Uh, in most cases, yes. It used to be that when live events happened, that mm -hmm. was when you know, broadcast TV or cable TV was still king. But you can get so much in the way of live events now on apps, and so many live events are starting to be streamed only on apps that uh, it, it seems like that last advantage that broadcast TV has had may mm -hmm. be fading. Okay. All right. We well, really appreciate your time tonight, Professor. Thank mm -hmm. you so much.